My name is Emily Woodamara and you're tuning in with Eclipse. First of all, before we begin the show, I'd just like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we're filming today. Um, we have some really amazing guests here today, all the way from Canada. Mm -hmm. Hi, Digging Roots. <laughs> Can we introduce the Digging Roots? <laughs> this, is <Shana. laughs> this is Shona, a very beautiful name, and Thank Mr. You. Raven. So guys, welcome. Welcome. How long have you been here for? Um, I think today it's a week since we arrived a in week? Australia. Yeah. Awesome. So tell us about your journey so far. What have you been up to? Uh, well, we've been really busy already. We, when we arrived, we hooked up with a crew here who are touring with us. And so we did some rehearsals and yeah. hung out on the beach a little bit. And then we went to, to Canberra and played a festival there. And then we came back to Sydney and then we flew here and now we're with you. Yeah. yeah. Lucky. Yes. Aren't we lucky? We're so very, very awesome. lovely to have you here. Oh, very thanks. lucky to have you on the show. But yeah, so what's been happening? How did how long are you here for? Where are you touring? We're so excited. Yeah, we're we here until the end of March. End of March. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're just playing a bunch of festivals. Yeah. We're doing some collabs with some indigenous folk and like uh, yeah, I've been yeah. I mean, it's really terrible. That sucks playing on Bondi Beach. It's Terrible place oh, to I know. Our, our life is it's really so hard. hard. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be at a studio at Bondi. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, Bondi Beach. It's just there. really difficult. I saw the Instagram photos, though. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful fantastic view, beautiful so far. Yeah. 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 I don't think we have a studio anything like that in yeah. Canada that I can think of. It's, well, it's on the ice, so. Well, it's <laughs> different kinds of beauty, I guess, you know, but it's yeah. pretty spectacular to be there. That's awesome. That yeah. sounds like you guys are having a fun time. So, um, just wondering if you guys could, you know, play a song for us. Um, we'd love to hear. Everyone out there would love to hear you, but yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Cool. So, um, I was thinking we'd play a song called Trouble, yeah. and um, it will, yeah, Highway Seventeen, and it's. I don't know if the news is getting here about some of the things going on with Indigenous folks in Canada, but. You know, we've been really trying to raise awareness and uh, create some change in Canada because, yeah. you know, we uh, Indigenous women aren't safe in our culture. And uh, um, we've documented over 1,200 murdered and missing Indigenous women. And um, I, we're just, we really want to build some awareness around it because yeah. it's something that has to change, you know. For me, as a First Nations woman, I'm, you know, four times more likely to be killed than, you know, just sort of... That's uh, just shocking. Yeah, Except so when I'm by her side. Uh, <laughs> 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 Which I'm always there. Oh, That's true. We are always together. But um, I would think, I, I wrote this song because I was really angry. And... Um, and I needed a way to move that. And I think yeah. music is this like beautiful way of taking that because it's it's legit to be angry, you know? And mm -hmm. the thing is that you want to move through that and bring come to a place of power because I think sometimes when we get stuck in our anger, it, it actually disempowers us, you know? So I was just trying to like find, like reach towards, you know, a more um, my own power in that feeling of knowing that I'm in a place where I'm not safe yeah. and knowing that my nieces and, you know, um, our daughters and and our grandmothers and mothers aren't safe so I just you know I needed to kind of deal with that and music is the way that we kind of work stuff through and so that's what this song yeah. is about so it's not like it's not a revenge fantasy yeah. which it kind of seems like on the surface it's actually about wanting to eradicate that you know that oppression that we carry internally and find a way to deal with it yeah. with each other externally and make some real change so well, it's early in the day and I sure to feel alright I was dark in the evening but this morning I feel so light I met trouble on highway 17 
simple operation and a flawless execution. But trouble never knew what hit until it was done. No. because we're indigenous and that's just mm -hmm. the way it is for Definitely. us. You kind know? of born and into that, you yeah. know, automatically. Yeah, we don't choose it. I mean, it's not that we all have to talk about it overtly. Like, I think, you know, we all have our own journey and way of expressing and working through that. For us, we, we wanted to challenge people. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like as a woman of color, as an indigenous woman, I, there was this very small space space for me to exist like when people saw me they saw me as this very like particular stereotypical thing you know and it's um and I really wanted to free myself of that and I wanted to challenge people to see me as a whole person and to you know like yes I'm like sacred and pure and um and I'm also like you know uh complicated and <laughs> crazy sometimes and and I'm angry sometimes and I you know and I think um, so 
for me as an artist, and I know like we've sort of come together and bring all these things together, but I wanted to to kind of mess with people a little bit and say and challenge them to see things in a different way and do things that were true to me. Um, so you know, we've had people say that you know it's too this or it's too that. It's like you know it's too sexy or it's not sexy enough or it's not traditional enough yeah. or it's too this and I don't know. It's just. I, I want them to say that because I need to be able to be honest about who I am and I need to be able to be a real person and explore, I don't know, being in this beautiful life, you right. know? And so I think the music is about the sacred and it is about being madly in love because, you know, we're married and, and, uh, and it is about having a family and it is about connection to land. Right. And it's, it's also about going out and having a good time and dancing and it's about politics you know it's just like yeah, everything because <laughs> we're whole people and we it's don't. about being jacked into life really yeah. you know it's like yeah. you know wherever we travel like we're always meeting the people from that land yeah. and like you know we're having awesome food and awesome drink and wow. you know we're always trying to just make connections with people because i think too just because of who we are and naturally who we are like people get challenged by seeing uh, indigenous folks that feel like they're okay yeah. <laughs> or you know are enjoying life or are successful doing what they're doing yeah. like and I think that you know in a certain way um, I know for me personally it was like really uncomfortable with that for a long time mm -hmm. until I was like screw it you know what I mean we are we are I mean I love what we're doing and and because I think we're doing what we're meant to do and we're honoring those gifts in that kind of way, like, it, it feels like the right place to be at that time, you know, yeah. in that moment. And, and yeah. it's really, you know, music is about being in the present. And, you know, hopefully it's kind of like, like back home we have a, we burn sweet grass. Yeah. And it's like, you know, all your thoughts, you know, go to the creator through that burning of that smoke, you know, it goes to the next uh, place. And I really, really feel that music is like that. Like music mm -hmm. can take something that wasn't there before and transform it. And uh, music has yeah. a, a certain yeah. medicinal Definitely. power that way. Like music is medicine in that kind of way. And I think that whenever we're traveling, uh, even if it's back home on, on some of our reses or like being here, like, you know, we try to bring some of that goodness that where we come from and, and share it, you know, and give back to the community of the world that we live in. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm.